Good morning, Food Ninjas. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well out there in the world. Today, we're gonna be doing a full day of cheating, including a new restaurant that I've never been to before called Habit Burger. So I've actually heard of this place a few times. I just, I don't know why I've never been there. It was actually requested from one of you guys in the comment section. So thank you for the idea. Also this morning, we're gonna be starting with donuts. Please don't tell me I do donuts in every single one of my videos. In fact, over the last 14 videos, I've only included donuts in I think two of my videos. So some of you guys saying that I always eat donuts. Yes, I always eat donuts, but it's not in every single video. And if you don't like donuts, you can definitely skip over the donut part. Either way, we are starting with Krispy Kremes because they have their pumpkin spice donuts already. It is September 1st and we're already getting the pumpkin spice flavors. I'm excited because fall food is definitely my favorite type of food. Honestly, everything's pretty much my favorite type of food. But with all that said, let's go pick up our donuts. Here, and I hope this Krispy Kremes has the new pumpkin spice. One of each of the pumpkin spice, a strawberry ice, and then a cinnamon sugar. They did have the pumpkin spice donuts. Sometimes this location doesn't have any of the newer donuts, which kind of sucks, because then I have to drive like five miles on the road, but they did, so happy about that. Mission complete, now we gotta find a place to eat this. All right guys, so we have our Krispy Kremes pumpkin spice donuts. Now they offer four different varieties. I went ahead and added a cinnamon sugar and a strawberry sprinkled here to make this a half a dozen. So we'll go over this pretty quickly. So here we have a cake pumpkin spice donut. I've been a fan of cake donuts lately. We have a pumpkin spice cream filled donuts. We have a cinnamon sugar pumpkin spice donut. And then we have a typical glazed pumpkin spice donut. So the first one we're gonna be starting with is the glazed pumpkin spice donut. I'm just gonna go ahead and bite into this. Oh, that is amazing. Mm. Mm. There's not one donut shop that can beat Krispy Kreme's glazed donuts just the original glazed donuts they're so fire but when you add pumpkin spice to this i don't think you can beat this mm. ah we're gonna go with the cinnamon sugar pumpkin spice donut the texture is so beautiful so it has some cream and i'm guessing that's a pumpkin spice cream the dark colored one Honestly, I think I like this one better than the glaze. Mm. There's just something about cinnamon sugar that you just can't beat. That flavor combo is unbeatable, especially when you put pumpkin spice flavoring into it. Moving along to the cream filled pumpkin spice donut. Now this, if you break it open, you see the cream inside of there. I'm surprised they didn't have a donut hole filled with cream. I'm surprised, they usually do that with their limited time donuts, not today. Oh, that cream, ah, oh, that's fantastic. I gotta say that last one was probably a 10 out of 10 donut with the cream filled. I can't wait until all the fast food restaurants start bringing out the holiday specials. It's my favorite time of the year. And then we have the cake pumpkin spice donut. The cake donut's a little heavier on the pumpkin spice. I don't mind it. You can definitely taste it more. Still fire. Mm. All right, and that concludes the pumpkin spice donuts. These limited donuts are maybe my more favorite ones compared to all the other limited flavored donuts, but overall the flavoring, it's a 10 out of 10. They're limited from September 1st 
to September 30th, which I think is very weird because getting into November, you'd think they would continue the flavoring, but maybe they might switch it up for when November comes. But now we have a cinnamon sugar and we're just gonna kind of devour this. Oh. And on to our very last donut, the strawberry sprinkled, my favorite. So I will go ahead and enjoy this one. Mmm. Mmm. That strawberry hits different today. And that is a wrap on the donuts. That was really quickly. Maybe I should have got 12. Well, we got plenty of food today, so that's breakfast. And that was a perfect way to start breakfast. Again, sorry if you guys don't like donuts, but I like to try the new ones, so I will include donuts when there's limited donuts. But with that said, I'll see you guys at the next meal. I can smell the onion rings in this. It smells so good. Whoa, it's hot. I know I say that all the time, but I am glad that fall's coming and the weather is going to cool down here in Florida. All right, so I'm excited to finally try Habit Burger and I'll see you guys back at home. And before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Raycon. As some of you guys know, I've been working with Raycon for the last year now, and I feel truly blessed to have this partnership. Co-founder Ray J, who's a popular artist in the music industry, jumped in the tech industry to bring you quality earbuds at half the price of other premium earbuds on the market. They sound just as amazing as other top brands you may know with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit with fun colors. They're super comfortable and come with a variety of fit options to fit your needs, whether you have big ears, small ears, they got you covered with this little rubber pieces that you can change out on the earbuds. A few things that I love about my everyday E25 earbuds is that they're wireless. I personally hate cords. They get in the way if I'm trying to skate, lift, or just listen to music. I feel that today, all earbuds should be wireless, in my opinion. They also come with a portable carrying case that your earbuds go inside. You can charge your earbuds up to four times on a single charge. So stick them in your pocket and you're ready to go. So if you're in the market for quality, true wireless earbuds at an amazing price, click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash Nathan to save 15% off your very own earbuds. Thank you Raycon and back to the video. All right guys, so we're back at home with our food. So like I said, this is my first time trying the Habit Burger. It is quite a distance, like 30 minutes from me. So the food might not be as warm, but it does look very good. So what I picked up was a fried chicken sandwich. I am on a quest to find a spectacular chicken sandwich. So hopefully their chicken sandwich can hold up. We have a chicken teriyaki burger. Um, I don't know if this is actually chicken or it is chicken. So we have actually two chicken sandwiches. So a teriyaki burger, we have onion rings. We have a fried tempura green beans. I thought this was pretty unique because I've never had tempura green beans. I'm gonna try this really quickly. It's actually really good. That is really good. Let me do one more. That is surprisingly Good. I was kind of confused about fried tempura green beans. It's like a French fry. You can barely taste the green beans. It's almost like healthy and unhealthy at the same time. Regardless, I love it. And then we have some sweet potato fries that have kind of gotten soggy. Tastes pretty good. There's tons that Habit Burger has to offer. In the future, I'll probably do a menu challenge because I definitely need to taste some other things. But I thought this was a good starter and we definitely need to taste the onion rings. If you see this here, I love this kind of breading over the just batter onion rings. Okay, that is excellent. It kind of reminds me of Burger King onion rings. Very similar. Those are nine out of 10 onion rings, so good. And we're gonna go ahead and dig into the teriyaki burger. Okay, so it looks like you have a nice big piece of chicken on top of there that's marinated with what I'm assuming to be teriyaki sauce. There's uh, another sauce on top of it, not sure what that is. You got some lettuce, some tomatoes, and it looks like maybe some mayonnaise on the bottom. And then we just need to go ahead and just take a big bite of this. The first thing I gotta say about it, it tastes 
fantastic. I love the juiciness of the chicken. However, I don't taste any teriyaki sauce. In fact, it kind of reminds me of a spicy chicken in a way, because there's a little bit of spice to it. Other than not really tasting the teriyaki much, I do think this is a fantastic chicken sandwich. In fact, I would give this like a nine out of 10. The chicken is very moist and juicy, which I love. And I feel like there's enough sauce on it. It's not overwhelming. It's just enough to get the flavoring of the burger. And I don't know if I really qualify this as a burger because there's chicken in it. Personally, anything with chicken in it, I call it a sandwich. And if it has ground beef in it, I call those burgers. That's just me personally, but let's go ahead and finish this because this is fantastic. So now we're on to the next, and this is just the chicken sandwich, I think. Maybe that was the chicken sandwich, actually. You think? That was the chicken sandwich. This is the teriyaki burger. This definitely has beef in it. I don't know why I thought this was a chicken sandwich, but that chicken sandwich, that's definitely in competition with Popeyes. But onto this teriyaki burger. There is teriyaki sauce all over this. Oh, and that tastes wonderful. Let's take a good bite of this. Wow, this is very good. The beef is cooked perfectly. I gotta say, this is another, this is a nine out of 10. The flavoring is wonderful, it's great, and I love the sesame seed bun on top of it. All right, and we're done with the burger, and I am impressed. This is definitely gonna be a place that I go back to, and I cannot wait to do a menu challenge to really explore all their other tasty burgers and sandwiches. So we'll start on the tempura fried green beans. Mm. Mm. These are really great alone. I think that if I had maybe some ketchup with it, it would taste better. Ranch isn't bad either. Hmm. I probably won't do ranch though. I'll just eat them by themselves because I'm too lazy to go all the way to the kitchen and grab a bottle of ketchup. Now for the sweet potato fries. Hmm. I do like the sweet potato fries, but I have had better I think Burger Stop has maybe the best sweet potato fries that I've had. These are pretty close though. Mm. <clears throat> and lastly, the onion rings. The only thing I wish I had with these is some barbecue sauce that would enhance this so much. And we're done with the Habit Burger Grill. Great experience, would recommend. We'll be back very, very soon. Maybe the next video, who knows. But thank you to the subscriber that recommended it in the comment section, much appreciated. And now we wait for dinner. I'll see you then. All right, so it's been a few hours since we last eaten, and I haven't really had much to eat today. Six donuts, two burgers, and some sides. But for dinner, I'm kind of craving Panda Express. It's been months since I've had Panda Express. So I went ahead and ordered a pretty voluminous meal. It's a family meal and I wanted a little bit of everything. So we went ahead and ordered it through Grubhub. It just came at the door. So we're gonna go get it and set up. If you guys haven't seen Reese's, there she is in all her glory. She needs a haircut though. Oreo too, you need a haircut as well. Okay. And there we go in all its glory. Got this. So it looks like we have a quite a bit of food. It is kind of heavy. But let me set this up and let's start eating. So here we are with our last meal. Everything is opened up, we're ready to eat. So let me just go over what I picked up or what I got delivered. So here we have Beijing beef, orange chicken. That's always gonna be staple in my Panda Express experiences. And then we have honey sesame chicken. I don't know if that's a new item. On the website, it does say it's new but I feel like maybe I've had it before. It does look delicious. And then we have some chow mein, 
and then some fried rice. And on the side, we have one chicken egg roll. It's a lot of food, but I haven't really had much to eat today. I still feel pretty empty. So this should be very, very yummy. Panda Express is like my favorite Americanized Chinese restaurant. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and dig into some of this. We're gonna start with the fried rice. Mmm. Almost feels like a mukbang. Mmm. We gotta get some of this chow mein here too. Now when I go to a Panda Express, chow mein's not one that I usually pick. It's usually white rice um, that I would choose with some teriyaki chicken, but this is for a video and this is a cheat day, so I gotta go fatty with this one. Mm. All right, so let's see if I have tasted this honey sesame chicken. Wow, that's a big piece of chicken. It's very nice, it's very glazed. And there's garlic infused with the sauce over the chicken. Mm. Reese's, no. You can't be up here, okay? <laughs> Look at this, what? I don't know if I've had that. That is very tasty. Maybe it's layered with sesame oil. And that thick, rich sauce over the chicken. Mmm, that's fantastic. That's a nine out of 10. Glaze over the chicken is so lovely. <laughs> I'm really trying to refrain from biting my lip this week because the last two weeks have been unsuccessful for me. So I'm gonna chew a little bit slower. In the classic orange chicken, orange chicken is always heavenly. Orange chicken always gets a 10 out of 10. But today, I'm gonna have to drop it to a nine out of 10. Cause the chicken today tastes just a tad bit overcooked. It's a little more chewy than it usually is. However, I haven't been to Pan Express in months. So it could just be me forgetting what it tastes like. It's still good, so. <clears throat> and lastly, we need to taste the Beijing beef. Oh, that's nice and tender. So we finally tasted everything. And I have to say, my favorite item usually is orange chicken. But today, I think it's going to be the Beijing beef because it's so tender and it's easy on my teeth. It's nice just to eat something that you don't have to work so hard to eat. And I, I know that sounds kind of lazy because you're just eating. But sometimes when you have to chew stuff and chew and chew and chew, that can be quite tough on my teeth. Mm. Mm. So today's winner is gonna be the baking beef. I'm almost second guessing the family meal. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be a little smaller because I've kind of done this same thing um, years ago, doing like the Panda Express family meal, and I don't remember it being this much, but I have had food today. Also, the food is very rich. It's very flavorful, and it's very rich and heavy. So I'm filling it pretty quickly. All right, and we're done with the chow mein. Before we continue, I have one. Oh, I only got one fortune cookie with this meal. I felt like I should have had at least like four or five. Fortune says you are generous and always think of others. I like the fortunes that give you 
some lottery numbers on the back. Every time I get those, I save it and I use it for a lottery ticket. And I don't buy much lottery tickets. I buy them like once in a great while when the jackpot is super high, just because might as well just try your luck. I am going to, wow, this is heavy. Sauces really give this some weight. I'm just gonna add this to my fried rice to make it easier so I don't have to reach. And they give you a generous amount of bell peppers. There. We're gonna go ahead and smash the chicken and get it out of the way, and maybe the rice. But I feel like I need the rice because I need something with the chicken. All right, sesame chicken is done. We are gonna go ahead and uh, throw the Bajan beef in here. I am really worried about the orange chicken. Chinese food being so heavy on my stomach today. I'm feeling like I weigh 20 pounds extra. So we'll go ahead and finish the Bajan beef. We'll go ahead and finish the Bajan beef. So we'll go ahead and finish the Bajan beef. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and finish the Bajan beef. I hate my life. So we'll go ahead and finish the Bajan beef and see how I feel after the fact. They had won their freedom at last. <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and continue with the orange chicken i don't want to waste the food probably won't eat it tomorrow since i'll be on a diet in the next day so we're just gonna finish everything and then close out the video it is a little more chewy than it usually is I'm super done with food today. I have this egg roll right here. That is not going to be eaten. I am gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Ooh. So that's today's video, Pen Express, Habit Burger, and Krispy Kremes. You guys should definitely check out Krispy Kremes Pumpkin Spice Donuts. I don't think you guys will go wrong if you are a holiday flavor person. And side note, I'm not sponsored by Krispy Kremes. I just like their pumpkin spice donuts. And for me, I'm gonna go shower, play some video games, and then go to sleep. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you can do me a favor, like the video. I don't care if you like it or not like it, like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.